I say yo. Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk bad rap, basketball, and wrestling. And the topic today is bad rap. More importantly, calico, 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 calico. We got to talk about calico right now, you feel me? Now, earlier this year, it wasn't even that long ago, this year, when he battled Chess, you feel me? I honestly thought Chess was going to win. A lot of people thought Chess was going to win. After the battle, I came out and said Calico won that battle, respectfully. And then I posted the question, is Calico underrated? Because I felt like for him to be here as long as he was, and somebody to think like, no disrespect to Chess, but Calico's a top tier legend, respectfully. And a lot of people, me included, thought Chess was just going to wipe the floor with him. So then that made me start thinking, like, is Calico underrated? You feel me? Like, do we underrate Calico? And then I seen him in Fonz. You feel me? I seen him in Fonz. It was only a one-rounder. But he got crazy in there. Gangster. Calico got crazy in that one-rounder versus Fonz, bro. He got crazy, bro. Crazy. Crazy. So I was thinking about that, right? And then, if I'm not mistaken, Hitman Holla last battle was on RBE versus Calico, right? I had Calico winning that battle. Hitman rapped way longer than him, but I had Calico winning that battle. You feel me? And then, you go back to Calico versus Averb, you feel me? I had Calico winning that battle too. So, it's like, bro, your man might be the mid, the GOAT of the Midwest, bro, honestly. He beat Calico, Averb, and I feel like he beat Ill Will on RBE. Those are three Midwest legends that Calico fake got out of here, bro. Back to back to back. Three separate years. That's crazy to me, bro. That's crazy to me. And then when it's like, if you just talk about Midwest, only the Midwest goats of, so Detroit, Chicago, St. Louis. You only talk about that. He's definitely in a higher demand than all of them. Right now, he's in a higher demand than Hitman Holla. He's in a higher demand than Averb. He's in a higher demand than Big T, Midwest Miles, X Factor, Young L. Like, he's a bigger and higher name than all of them right now currently in Battle Rap, bro. That's crazy. And then there's, like, the one big knock that everybody can only say about Calico. Like, his, his worst moment in Battle Rap is the Lux Battle. You feel me? Is that's it. It's only the Lux battle. And that is Lux. To this day, that is not only one of the greatest performances in battle rap. That is Loaded Lux's greatest performance since since. Gangster. That Loaded Lux versus Calico is the best Lux we've ever seen. Easily. You feel me? And that is even 10 years ago. So it's like, bro, if they want to bring that back, because I don't want to see Lux versus Daylight. I know I'm in the minority, but I don't want to see Lux versus Daylight. But it's about to be the 10-year anniversary of Calico and Lux. They both are totally different now than they was 10 years ago. So I wouldn't mind seeing Calico and Lux again, you feel me? I want to see Calico and Clips, you feel me? I think Calico should be the person that battles easy in Philly on a Cassie Freeway card. I think it should be Calico. Gangster, bro. So it's like, not only is he in higher demand, not only did he beat Averb and Hitman on different leagues, then he beat the face of RBE, Ill Will. Then he just had a great one rounder with the up and coming Midwest legend, Fonz. It's like, bro, and then he's a way bigger name than all of them. I would say right now, Calico is a harder name than everybody from the Midwest when it comes to battle rap. Now, I'm not talking about outside of battle rap, obviously, Hitman's are wild enough. But just in battle rap, bro, Calico's the hottest person out of the Midwest right now. Easily. He's the hottest person. You feel me? It's, and there's like 10 battles I want to see him have. Like, niggas is shitting on A-Verb right now. Talking about, yo, we tired of Verb. We don't want to see Verb no more. I fake want to see like five battles from Calico, bro. Gangsta. Calico and Easy. Calico and Clips. Calico and Nitty. You feel me? Calico and Lux again. It's like, bro, he can really, bro, he can have some calico and Av. 
Like, bro, Calico, bro, I'm not going to lie. He, he might be the GOAT of the Midwest. Calico, honestly, might be the GOAT of the Midwest, bro. Just his longevity, his impact. He, he only raps like himself, too. It's not a lot of people that raps like Calico. He don't rap like everybody else. He's very original, you feel me? And then he's been here for a long, long, long time, bro. Like, he really might be the GOAT of the Midwest, in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back one more.